Hello everyone. So in this lab exercise, I'm going to show you how to design and implement Azure Express Route. So let's go and do that. So to connect your Azure Virtual Network and your on-prem network via Express Route, you must create a virtual network gateway first. A virtual network gateway serves two purposes, to exchange IP routes between the network and to route network traffic. So what we are going to do right now is we are going to create a VNet and we are going to create a gateway subnet and then we are going to create the virtual network gateway. So to create a gateway and VNet, let's click on create a resource, search for virtual networks and select the virtual network and hit on create. So make sure you select your right subscription. I'm going to click on create a new resource group. I'm going to call it as Contoso resource group and give a name for your VNet. I'm going to call it as core services VNet and the location I'm going to retain as East US. Click on IP addresses. So by default, the IP address range or IP address space is 10.0.0.0 slash 16. I'm going to change it to 20. So the address space, what we are going to assign to the core services VNet is 10.20.0.0 slash 16. Scroll down till you find the subnet and click on add subnet. Give a name for your subnet. I'm going to call it as gateway subnet and then provide a subnet address range. I'm going to assign 10.20.0.0 slash 27 and leave the rest of the values to the default. So we don't want a NAT gateway or any other service endpoint. So click on add. Now we have given all the details for a virtual network, address space and a gateway subnet. Click on review plus create. After validation, click on create. All right, so our virtual network deployment has been completed. So click on go to resource to see the resource. Within the VNet, you can go under settings to check your address space. You can verify and make sure that the one which you have given is what it is assigned. And if you scroll down and click on subnets, you will be able to find the subnet you created. So if you want to create additional subnets, all you have to do is click on add a subnet, give a name and a different IP address range. Now that we have created the VNet, next step is to create the virtual network gateway. So I'm going to go back to my Azure portal homepage, click on create a resource. This time search for virtual network gateway. So select virtual network gateway and click on create. Under creating virtual network gateway, make sure you select the right subscription. Um, give a name for your instance. I'm going to call it as core services VNet gateway. Pick a region where you want to host this gateway. I'm going to keep it as East US. Under gateway type, instead of VPN, select express route. SKU, you have multiple options. I'm going to keep it as standard. If you want high performance or ultra performance, you can select that. So for the lab, I'm just going to keep it as standard. Under virtual network, select the virtual network you just now created, coreservices.vnet. And the subnet is by default selected, one which we created for the gateway subnet. Scroll down under public IP address, click on create new and give a public IP address name. I'm going to call it as core services VNet gateway IP. SKU, I'm going to retain it as basic and under assignment is anyway, it's not configurable for us. And now hit on review plus create, click on create. So this step is going to take at least 45 minutes to complete. So I'm going to pause the video. We will come back later after completing this step. The next step after this we are going to do is we are going to provision an express route circuit. So I will see you in a bit. All right. So after 50 minutes, it completed creating the virtual network gateway. So click on go to resource to see the virtual network gateway. Yep. We have created the virtual network gateway. We don't have any connections uh, or configuration yet. We'll come back to this later. Now in this exercise, we are going to create an express route circuit using the Azure portal. So first let's go ahead and create and provision an express route circuit. All right. So to create an express route, just click on create a new resource, search for express route, select express route and click on create. Leave the subscription as default. Under resource group, I'm going to create a new resource group. I'm going to give a name as express route resource group. Click OK. Under region, I'm going to select East US 2 and I'm going to call this express route as test ER circuit. 
and click on configuration. Under configuration, I'm going to leave the port type as provider, create new or import from classic. I'm going to select as create new under provider, select Equinix. I'm going to select the peering location as Seattle bandwidth. I'm going to pick 50 MBBS under SKU type for this lab. I'm going to pick premium under billing model metered or unlimited. I'm going to pick unlimited allow classic operations. You can keep it no and hit on review and create. So right now it is doing a validation after the validation pass successfully, you will be able to create this resource. Click on create while that is creating. So I just want to explain a few things to you. So under port type, this determines if you are connecting to a service provider or directly into Microsoft global network at a peering location, creating new or import from classic. This determines if a new circuit is being created or if you are migrating a classic circuit to Azure resource manager. Provider is the internet service provider who you will be requesting your service from. The peering location indicates the physical location where you are pairing with the Microsoft. This is not linked to the location property, which refers to the geography where the Azure network resource provider is located. While they are not related, it is a good practice to choose a network resource provider geographically close to the peering location of the circuit. SKU determines whether an express route local, express route standard or an express route premium add-on is enabled. You can specify local to get the local SKU, standard to get the standard SKU or premium for the premium add-on. You can change the SKU to enable the premium add-on later. Please note that you cannot change the SKU from standard to premium to local. Billing model determines the billing type you can specify, which is metered or a metered data plan and unlimited for an unlimited data plan. You can change the billing type from metered to unlimited anytime, but you cannot change the type from unlimited to metered and allow classic operations means that you will allow classic virtual network to be linked to the circuit. All right. So now our express route circuit is being deployed. So let's click on go to resource and we have our test ER circuit is created. Now let's go and retrieve our service key. So let's go back to the home page, select the express route circuit. We just created test ER circuit and under the overview tab, this is where you will be able to find the service key and your service provider will need the service key to complete the provisioning process. The service key is specific to your circuit. So you must send the service key to your connectivity provider for provisioning. And on this page, you can check the provider status as well. As you can see that the provider state is not provisioned because we have not provisioned it yet. And the circuit status is enabled. Circuit status provides you the state on the Microsoft side. All right. So that's the end of the circuit or express route circuit creation. The next step is you can watch channel and video on how to provision your service provider connection. So I hope you find this video useful. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.